since the dawn of time. Man has been searching and battling. Even down to actually killing one another for their beliefs. Which is insane. It is foretold that the greatest lie ever told was by Lucifer himself. To make you believe they don't exist. And every time someone comes out with a, a ghost, which seems to be very popular these days, what else seems to be pretty popular, which is sad for the people who witnessed the real thing, is the fake people. Some of that stuff... It's real. Really real. It's insane when it happens to you. I know a lot of things is real, because it actually happened to my family. Just like folklore, throughout the ages, within all humans that's on this earth, there are still things that scientists can't explain. I know a lot of people don't believe, and a lot of it is fake. But there's times when the unknown happens to people. And no one believes them, but it's true. Like, have you ever been taking a shower? And this cold chill comes down your spine. Washing yourself. Something just gets your attention. And it feels like someone's standing there watching. But you keep looking. And nothing's there. Oh, you heard that noise outside. But nothing's there. So many cases that's happened in this world that people still talk about to this day. Controversy going back and forth. I hope you do realize that some people are going to try their best to prove that it's fake. And itself can make it look like it's fake so the person looks insane or just making it up. You know, sometimes that deliberately happens. And of course, in so many cases, we don't know. It's kind of like hearsay. But if you experience like some weird stuff in your life, like my three-year-old saw red eyes, kept saying roar he's three years old has no imagination especially of that explain that and things move <laughs> and then the doctor so called sleep paralysis I've had this happen to me about three times in my life. And I know damn well it wasn't no sleep paralysis. I felt the breath but could not move. Seeing my bed sink in like something's crawling top of me. 
heard hoofs moving around my bed. Voices in my basement. But they were talking to each other. Evil. Anybody who spent the night in my house left in a real hurry and told me what happened later. I had a 12 year old kid who was a friend of my son's left my house at 3 o'clock in the morning because of a shadow man standing by my stairs. And as I said before, so many cases, the real exorcist, Ronald Hunkler, or Ed and Lorraine Warren, the photo. So many people with the controversies of the Amityville house. The only thing I got to say about the Amityville house is how come when he went to go shoot the family, nobody woke up from that gun he used. Nobody. And the gun he used is very loud because I know I shoot guns for fun. All of these stories of these people, or Annalise, Michelle, yeah, epileptic seizures, speaking six different voices out of your mouth and a language that hasn't been spoken on earth in hundreds of years, in the best no mess-ups. And here's the funny part. Seeing the stuff backwards. Yeah. Sure. But everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And I'm entitled to mine. But I know what happened to my family. And I still argue with people over it. <laughs> So that sound in your closet late at night wakes you up. That horrible nightmare makes you wake up full of sweat. The sound in the other room, you go look and nobody's there. Maybe there is, you just can't see them. <laughs> Truth be told, evil is real, and it lives in all of us, makes us do things the unspeakable things. An investigator actually did an interview with John Wayne Gacy, and he said in the interview, one minute he's claiming that he didn't do it, and it was almost like the air in the room changed, and even the persona of John Wayne Gacy, his eyes even got dark and changed, like something stepped in them. Even the way he spoke changed. I've heard things saying my name. I've heard things moving. I heard something growl at my son. I always saw something crawling across. 
glowing red eyes in the basement of that house I lived in. And I know this is saw things with my own eyes. What about you? So that picture fell off the wall by itself. Maybe the nail was loose. Maybe. That touch on your shoulder. Maybe. What was that that moved in the dark? By the foot of your bed. What keeps making that noise outside? Something walking in the attic, and you know nobody's there. Glowing red eyes in the closet, whispering. 